So getting back, guys, uh, welcome back. So like I said, I'm going to be down in the Florida at the uh, trade station at the uh, next week. So hopefully get to see you guys a couple of times over there. Faso, can you send me your driver? Ken, why don't you <laughs> send you my driver? Why don't you pick me up in your Ferrari that you all the money been making lately? <laughs> uh, all right, anyone, in the meantime, uh, let's talk about what happened yesterday and what's going on today. Obviously, the shutdown is still kicking in. And uh, I know they have a vote that's coming at the end of the week. You know, I'll be honest with you. I, you know, you had some good, good, um, you had some really good uh, announcements that came out regarding what happened with IBM. IBM, spelt it wrong. There we go. So IBM is uh, doing pretty well, you know, up 7%. Stock is gapping up really, really nicely. Let me just fix my time frame. That was yesterday's close and not doing too well right there. There you go. So uh, that's going to move the market a lot. I'll tell you, the only concern I have regarding about this shutdown is that the GDP might be going down because, listen, if people ain't getting paid, I don't think people are going to spend, the people obviously not spending money. So, you know, you got to be a little cautious right now regarding about uh, some of your trades that, you know, we might have some good opportunities regarding to get a couple of good shorts going on. But uh, hope, they get, hope they get this thing resolved. This is, like, ridiculous. I mean, I, I you know, just – just throwing two cents out there. I just can't believe how much hatred there there is out there. Holy cow. I mean, can't people just come to a compromise? Let's just all just get along for crying out loud. Unbelievable. But it's going to, you know, we're going to keep a close eye on it. And uh, let's see what happens regarding about the market, though. All right. Uh, and, and as uh, regarding about what happened yesterday, a couple of things did make some nice moves. I know we had class, but some of you guys did really well. There's actually some of the stocks that we traded that are going to be kicking in. Obviously, the PCG is one of them. I want to look at that really quick. But a couple of stocks, the ARNC. Bring that up here. There we go. So the ARNC was actually a really, really nice move yesterday. This was a nice little dead cap bounce. For some of you guys missed it, you could see a thing got crushed and right in pre-market. It just kind of went up. And uh, made that nice little move all the way into the open. Only bad thing about it is that she, would, she had a couple of pretty nasty shakes. You had to be a little bit more of an advanced trader. And a few of you guys did pretty well. I mean, Neil K, he made about 48 cents. Uh, Philip made 79 cents. Give those guys a round of applause. Good job. Way to go. Jerry also made about 60 cents from what I remember. So that was a really nice push. And pretty much it wasn't, you know, we didn't have a really, really good pre-market. Yeah, um, like a like a good good list, but listen, we saw like last week. You just need one, you know, like Nbot, and you know, and then obviously this one, the PCG, this one uh, did pretty well, and uh, you know, PCG is going back on my list. A couple of you guys did really well on that one, also. Uh, Na you know who did well? Nancy did well. Uh, Bill did well. Everyone did pretty well. Be forty two cents. Uh, Nancy made 25 cents. Not a lot. You know, she shorted it. What was nice about her, what I liked about Nancy's trade, she shorted it at 835, which, by the way, that is an extreme gimme. Major, major, major resistance levels at 835. So I just thought that was a great call. Good for you, Nancy. Now, uh, listen, I've been reading up on this stock, uh, PCG. Now, you guys got to remember something very important. I say this all the time. You want to be a – listen – I'm going to be doing a new webinar uh, this week, and it's going to be a little bit different. I want to basically – I'm going to be doing a webinar regarding talking about, uh, you know, how to make a living in day trading and, you know, why you want to day trade and why it's such a big failure rate. And let me just tell you just really quick, just a, just a uh, you know, a tip, you know, in regarding a, a sneak peek of what I'm going to talk about is that a lot of people want to swing trade, right? And they, they, they mix and they think – they think swing trading is day trading, you know, and they forget that day trading went in out the same day. Now, I like swing trading. I swing trade. You know, sometimes I have to. Listen, I, you know, I trade my own IRA. I trade my own, um, you know, I, I, I trade my, my nephews and nieces' funds, you know. Um, you know. There's some stocks I just like, you know what I mean? Like you had great opportunities. So it happened when the market, you know, took a – we had a Christmas crash, you know. I know some great opportunities out there. You know, I, I got some really good deals on certain stocks. Now, would I day trade some of those stocks? Absolutely not. But you don't know how to swing trade those stocks if you don't know, even know how to day trade. So my point that I'm getting to is like this PCG. 
you know, I'm like really, I'm really like on the fence with this. Is it a good, good swing trade? A lot of you guys look at it. It's a farm, you know, it's, it's one of the, you know, we talked about this yesterday, you know, and, 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 and the thing is this, there's going to be a lot of PCGs out there. There's a lot of them out there, okay? Every day, if it's if it's a pot stock, if it's a you know if, if it was some of you remember the cryptocurrency stocks, you know they're there every day. And every time you do a trade, you learn from it. So what I'm trying to get to regarding about this PCG, I know a lot of people are thinking, and I was almost on the fence, like you know what, this might be a good buy as a swing trade. Listen, I'm a little cautious about it because the company announced that they were looking to file bankruptcy, and if the company files bankruptcy. You know, maybe you buy it when the bankruptcy happens, you know, after the news. And if they don't, I mean, you know, listen, it's on the fence. So I, I just want to be very careful. You're seeing all this volume going on in PCG. I mean, this stock was trading 200 million shares. We, it was unheard of. That was all high-frequency trading. So just be very, very cautious and be very concerned, guys, because I know some people are getting some, you know, are on the on the fence. are like, you know, I, I you know. Want to do a little swing trade on certain stocks? Which ones are good buys and so on? And we all know we're not going to be trading stocks like Tesla and Netflix, you know, two hundred, three hundred dollar stocks, you know. But um, you know, we all want we all want less risk, more reward. So uh, you know, listen, there's some opportunities out there. But as a as a, a as an, a trader like we're doing, just always remember the tip of the day is we always risk the least amount of money as possible with the high, high amount of reward. So anyway, that was basically what happened, what we traded, uh, and what's going on. That's your tip of the day. Now, let's go on talk about some of the stocks that are moving this morning. Now, the one that I found this morning was doing pretty well, and now she's doing these nasty shakes, the the SFY. Now, um, stock's up 12%, eight, over 800,000 shares trade, 845,000. You guys got to remember, just the, the big thing I was pointing out this morning about pre-market is that you got to be careful on the spreads. You know, people don't understand that it's not. It's it's easy to buy it. It it it, it, it was you know it's very hard to sell it. You know, and uh, you, you know, the way you know that is what we covered in the phase one class. So you got to focus on those spreads, guys. Remember, don't ever look at a stock like oh, this is a stock I can make money on. Yeah, they all can make you money, but most of them make you lose more than you can make because the spreads are very very big. We focus on it. Remember what we cover in class is the three T's: tradable trend and trap so um the only thing i was concerned about this when i pointed out is the spread was a little cautious but anyway she's doing okay i'm gonna keep an eye on it i think it's going back on the watch list the sngx is another one that uh also had a nice little move half a million shares up 30 percent cheap little stock love it you know buck 32 uh well, that one you know not really picking the trend that i like but i want to keep an eye on it um uh, i want to get a kick out of this one the AVCO, we did great on that one. How about that one took off, right? The AVCO, what do we all say? Whatever comes up, I was crashing down. Uh, whatever goes up, comes down twice as fast on the way down. So we had our big moves on this one. You saw what was happening. So, um, you know, the stock was $3, went to 13 literally, you know, up what? Uh, 500%, you know, whatever it is, 400% in about a couple of days. So... Listen, stay away from it, guys. This thing got pretty damn nasty to ABCO, all right? Be very, very cautious of it. We made our money. Don't go back to it. You know, it's like the PCG. You know, you made money. You know, be very careful. Now, the big news is obviously the IBM. And you know we're not trading IBM, okay? You know you're not trading. I get a kick out of it. I see people. I'm getting tweets from people that I'm watching. I'm just, I'm always learning and seeing, okay, what are my competitors doing? You know, what are they looking at? And I just get a kick out of the stock because, listen, you deal with the best traders on Wall Street, right? Well, I would rather go go trade a $7, $10 stock and and, and, and try to make my 500 than than $1,000 and try to go trade a $131 stock making the same money. It's 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 just, uh, you know, it, but, but the good thing about it is going to help the market and this will trigger other stocks that within its industry. So that's how you're usually supposed to trade it. But IBM, the same thing. And the same thing with Tesla. So, uh, spelled it wrong. So Tesla, listen, stock's taking a big hit, $232 stock. Just, guys, just maybe some other stocks might reflect from it, maybe I, uh, IO or something like that. But uh, listen, don't, don't sit there and...
focus and, and, and listen too much, read between the lines, focus on what we're trading on. So I just want to bring up, because obviously that they've been all over the news today, so I want to bring them up. Um, stocks that I am going to also be watching is I'm going to watch this VIPS. Some of you already know about it. You've been watching it in pre-market. She's doing pretty well. Uh, she's got major resistance levels at a buck ninety-eight. Focus on the iceberg orders on the matrix. You can see right there, you got some big orders out there. Already probably going to prevent it from going higher. Uh, the PCG is going to still be on my watch list. You know, remember, we've got a brick, brick wall right there, right at 837. So it's got to break that. And then the Crohn's. Um, the CRONS, I told you this yesterday. This is one of the stock that um, I actually did a swing trade on it because, you know, obviously I, I chased it, you know, looking at it where it was, not just literally not too long ago. But, um, you know, 10 ounce, 15, but it's breaking all time highs. And just remember something very, very important. Some of the biggest things we're going to teach. I'm going to leave you off with this one last tip, okay? When you break through a roof of a building, okay, where is the resistance levels, okay? When you break through the roof, there isn't any. So that's right, Lewis. It's the sky. There isn't any. So it's, in, it's what we call uncharted territories. And you all have been here long enough to see what happens when we broke through all-time highs. We saw it would happen with, um, with uh, uh, TL, T, uh, the other pot stock, T, uh, TSLY. We saw it happen with Elfin. We saw what happened. We see it happen with tons and tons of stocks out there. So you guys got to remember that I don't have a problem buying a stock that's going higher. You know, but when they break all-time highs and you're dealing in uncharted territories, uh, there's no one that's going to prevent from going higher, and that also can cause a uh, a short squeeze. That could tons of things that could it, it could affect. So just keep an eye with one of the big things, and it's not with this stock, with any stock, you know. So um, that's one of the great things that we're here to learn, and also obviously make money doing it. So let's keep an eye on those two. So that's basically what we got going on this morning. Uh, if there's anything else out there, guys, just let me know. I mean, I know you guys are also bring it up. Yeah, the SN, the uh, SNGX. Some of you guys are already looking at. It. Yeah, I made a little pop, like I told you, Ben. You already made six cents on it. All right, that's great. Give him a round of applause. You know? but uh, basically, is what we got going on. Now, remember, listen. There's a. We found that there's always something opening up in the morning. And uh, if there's something opening up a little bit more when the market opens up, we'll find some new ones. But this is what we got in pre-market. Hasn't been so far the greatest list in pre-market this uh, these past couple of days. But overall, we pretty much had a pretty decent week as so far. All right, everybody, listen. Good luck today. If you're not if you're not going to be here in the cyber group room, you should be in class. Uh, we got the phase one, phase two going on, and then uh, we got a we got a bunch of events going on this week, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So look forward to seeing you there. Listen. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. And uh, if you're not going to be in class, we'll see you back at 2.30 for the afternoon meeting. So happy trading, everybody, all right, in the trading room. Good luck, everyone.